Vincennes is a city in and the county seat of Knox County, Indiana, United States. It is located on the lower Wabash River in the southwestern part of the state, nearly halfway between Evansville and Terre Haute. Founded in 1732 by French fur traders, Vincennes is the oldest continually inhabited European settlement in Indiana and one of the oldest settlements west of the Appalachians. According to the 2010 census, its population was 18,423, a decrease of 1.5% from 18,701 in 2000. History The vicinity of Vincennes was inhabited for thousands of years by different cultures of indigenous peoples. During the late woodland period, some of these peoples used local Lois Hills as burial sites. Some of the more prominent examples are the Sugar Loaf Mound and the Pyramid Mound. In historic times, prominent local native groups were the Shawnee, Wabash, and the Miami tribe. The first European settlers were French Canadians, when Vincennes was founded as part of the French colony of La Louisiane. Several years later, France lost the French and Indian War and as a result ceded territory east of the Mississippi River, including Vincennes, to the victorious British. The area was under British rule, associated with a colony of Canada, until after the American Revolution. It then became part of the Illinois country of the colony and Dominion of Virginia. Next it became part of Knox County in the Northwest Territory, and it was later included in the Indiana Territory. Vincent served as capital of the Indiana Territory from 1800 until 1813, when the government was moved to Corridon. Equals New France equals, the first trading post on the Wabash River was established by the Sieur Juttereau, Lieutenant General of Montreux Copyright Al. With 34 Canadians, he founded the company post on October 28, 1702 to trade for buffalo hides with American Indians. The exact location of Juttero's trading post is not known, but because the Buffalo Trace crosses the Wabash at Vincennes, many believe it was here. The post was a success. In the first two years, the traders collected over 13,000 buffalo hides. When Juttero died, the post was abandoned. The French-Canadian settlers left what they considered hostile territory for Mobile, then the capital of Louisiana. The oldest European town in Indiana, Vincennes was officially established in 1732 as a second French fur trading post in this area. The Compagnie des Indes commissioned a Canadian officer, from a section Marie Bichot, Sieur de Vincennes, to build a post along the Wabash River to discourage local nations from trading with the British. De Vincennes founded the new trading post near the meeting points of the Wabash and White Rivers, and the overland Buffalo Trace. De Vincennes, who had lived with his father among the Miami tribe, persuaded the Piang Shaw to establish a village at his trading post. He also encouraged Canadian settlers to move there, and started his own family to increase the village population. Because the Wabash post was so remote, however, Vincent had a hard time getting trade supplies from Louisiana for the native nations, who were also being courted by British traders. The boundary between the French colonies of Louisiana and Canada, although inexact in the first years of the settlement, was decreed in 1745 to run between Fort Uyatonin and Vincennes. In 1736, during the French war with the Chickasaw Nation, de Vincennes was captured and burned at the stake near the present-day town of Fulton, Mississippi. His settlement on the Wabash was renamed Post Vincennes in his honor. Louisiana Governor Jean-Baptiste Le Moyne Sieur de Blenville next appointed Louis Groston de Saint-Ange de Belle arrived to command Post Vincennes. With little help from the colonial government, Saint-Ange was able to build up the small village and attract new tribes to trade. In 1742, he received a grant from the Piang Shaw for 1,500,000 acres to the north and east of Post Vincennes. The opportunity for land attracted many new Canadian settlers, and the growing village was sometimes called Saint-Ange. As the French colonials pushed north from Louisiana and south from Canada, however, the British colonists to the east continued to push west. In addition, British traders lured away many of Indians who had traded with the Canadians. This competition escalated in the Ohio country until 1754 and the eruption of the French and Indian War. Equals British Empire equals. On February 10, 1763. 
when New France was ceded to the British Empire at the conclusion of the French and Indian War, Vincennes fell under the dominion of Great Britain. British Lieutenant John Ramsay came to Vincennes in 1766. He took a census of the settlement, built up the fort, and renamed it Fort Sackville. The population grew quickly in the years that followed, resulting in a unique culture of interdependent Native Americans and French and British colonials and traders. Vincennes was far from centers of colonial power. In 1770 and 1772 General Thomas Gage, the commander-in-chief of Britain's North American forces, received warnings that the residents of Vincennes were not remaining loyal, and were inciting native tribes along the river trade routes against the British. The British colonial secretary, the Earl of Hillsborough, ordered the residents to be removed from Vincennes. Gage delayed while the residents responded to the charges against them, claiming to be peaceful settlers, cultivating the land which His Most Christian Majesty granted us. The issue was resolved by Hillsborough's successor, Lord Dartmouth, who insisted to Gage that the residents were not lawless vagabonds, but English subjects whose rights were protected by the king. In 1778, residents at Post Vincennes received word of the French alliance with the American Second Continental Congress from Father Pierre Gibault and Dr. Jean Lafont. They revolted in support of the Americans, as did the local Piankshaw, led by Chief Young Tobacco. Equals Battle of Vincennes 1779 equals. Lieutenant Colonel George R. Clark, Captain Leonard Helm and others created a plan to capture the French forts that the British occupied after Louisiana was ceded. After Kaskaskia was captured by Clark, Lieutenant Governor Henry Hamilton sent British soldiers and reinforcements from Detroit to Fort Vincennes and helped to rebuild the fort. Italian trader Francis Virgo, who was captured once by the British at Vincennes, found Clark and warned him of the British at the fort. Virgo served with the Patriots, ordered war supplies from the Spanish to help, and acted as a secret agent for the Patriots. Clark rounded up enough men to outnumber the British and planned a brilliant surprise attack on Fort Vincennes in the heart of winter, a horrible time when no armies were expected to be able to attack due to illness, lack of food, and the flood waters that were high during this time. The Patriots won the Battle of Vincennes on February 23, Euro 24, 1779. Hamilton thought Post Vincennes is a refuge for debtors and vagabonds from Canada. George Rogers Clark recaptured Fort Sackville in the Battle of Vincennes without losing a single soldier. Equals United States equals. Although the Americans would remain in control of Vincennes, it took years to establish peace. In 1786, Captain John Hardin led a mounted Kentucky militia across the Ohio River and destroyed a friendly Piankshaw town near Vincennes. This led to a series of attacks and counter-attacks between Wabash Indians and American settlers. Finally, on July 15, 1786, the Wabash landed in 47 war canoes at Vincennes to drive the Americans back to Kentucky. The Indians warned the Canadians in advance of their attack and assured them that they would not be harmed, but the Canadians warned the Americans. They quickly supplied Fort Patrick Henry and waited out the siege. One American was killed and four wounded, and the war party left after destroying the Americans' farms. In response, Virginia Governor Patrick Henry authorized George Rogers Clark to raise the Kentucky militia and mount an expedition against the warring tribes. General Clark gathered a force of 1,000 militia and departed Clarksville September 9, 1786, along the Buffalo Trace. The militia spent ten days in Vincennes before marching north along the Wabash, but men deserted by the hundreds. Clark was soon forced to return to Vincennes without any action taken. Clark left 150 men to help defend Vincennes, but this force soon turned into a lawless mob, and the citizens of Vincennes petitioned Congress for help. Secretary of War Henry Knox sent Colonel Josiah Harmer and the 1st American Regiment to restore order. The Kentucky militia fled Vincennes at the approach of U.S. regulars. Colonel Harmer left 100 regulars under Major Jean from a section Waham Trunk and directed them to build a fort, Fort Knox. Vincennes remained an isolated town, difficult to supply due to its position deep within Indian territory. Secure transport to and from Vincennes meant traveling with a large, armed party, whether overland or via the Wabash River. 
On September 30, 1790, Major Ham Tramp led 350 men from Vincennes as far north as the Vermilion River, to engage some of the Indian villages which had been at war with Vincennes. The Kickapoo tracked the party, however, and evacuated every village along the way before the Americans arrived. Ham Tramp destroyed some abandoned villages, but he did not engage any war parties. Faced with desertions from Kentucky militia, Ham Tramp returned to Vincennes. The expedition had done no serious harm to the enemies of Vincennes, but it distracted some of the Wabash villages while Josiah Homer, now a general, led a much larger expedition up through Ohio country towards Kekayunga. Vincennes was not secure until the conclusion of the Northwest Indian War in 1795. By 1798, the population had reached 2,500. Vincennes was no longer considered a trading outpost but a thriving city. Vincent served as the first capital of the Territory of Indiana until it was moved to Corridon on May 1, 1813. Ellu Stout published the first newspaper in the Indiana Territory in 1804 at Vincent's. The Indiana Gazette debuted on July 31, 1804. Fire destroyed of the printing presses in 1806, but Stout revived the newspaper as the Western Sun in 1807. In 1826, a party of Shawnee Indians, in men, women, and children, to 500, passed through this place, Vincennes, from their reservation at Wapakoneta, moving to the Mississippi. The celebrated Indian prophet, and a son of the great Tecumseh, were in the company. Equals flag of Vincennes, Indiana equals. This flag for the city of Vincennes, Indiana, albeit somewhat unofficial, is used by several areas around the city. It features the signature V, for Fleur de Lis, symbolizing the city's French heritage, its existence in four centuries, 18th, 19th, 20th, and 21st, since the city's establishment in 1732. Similar in appearance to the flag of Indianapolis, Vincent's flag is more squared in appearance and has a diamond center rather than a circle. It represents the layout of Vincent's. White stripes radiating from the diamond represent Vincent's part in the settlement of the frontier, as it was at the crossroads of several great pioneer trails. Geography Vincent's is located on the banks of the Wabash River at the western edge of Knox County. This is also the western edge of the state of Indiana, and Illinois is across the river to the west. The city lies about 100 miles southwest of Indianapolis. U.S. Route 41 passes through the city from north to south and U.S. Route 50 passes just to the north of the city from east to west. According to the 2010 census, Vincent's has a total area of 7.478 square miles, of which 7.41 square miles is land and 0.068 square miles is water. Climate Vincent's has hot summers and cold winters with heavy rainfall at times throughout much of the year. There are an average of 53.1 days with highs of 90 a degree Fahrenheit or higher and an average of 101.5 days with lows of 32 a degree Fahrenheit or lower. Average January temperatures are a high of 36.3 a degree Fahrenheit and a low of 18.3 a degree Fahrenheit. Average July temperatures are a high of 87.7 a degree Fahrenheit and a low of 64.8 a degree Fahrenheit. The record high temperature was 104 degree Fahrenheit on June 26, 1988. The record low temperature was a 26 degree Fahrenheit on January 19, 1994. Average annual precipitation is 44.43 inches. Measurable precipitation occurs on an average of 105.6 days each year. The wettest year was 1990 with 60.08 inches and the driest year was 1988 with 36.02 inches. The most precipitation in one month was 11.18 inches in November 1985. The most precipitation in 24 hours was 5.07 inches. Average annual snowfall is 5.8 inches. Measurable snowfall occurs on only 2.6 days. The snowiest season was 1989 a Euro 90 when 16.4 inches fell. The most snow in one month was 8.5 inches in December 1990. The most snow in 24 hours was 8.0 inches on March 24, 1990.
education equals public schools equals elementary schools Techum say Euro Harrison Elementary, Franklin Elementary, Virgo Elementary, Riley Elementary, Washington Elementary, Middle School, Clark Middle School, High School, Lincoln High School, South Knox High School. Equals parochial schools equals elementary school, Flagett Elementary, High School, Vincent's Rivet High School. Equals other private schools equals Wabash Valley Christian Academy. Southwestern Indiana Youth Village. Equals higher education equals, Vincent's University was established in 1801 as Jefferson Academy. It is the oldest college of higher learning in Indiana. Demographics. Equals 2010 census equals, as of the census of 2010, there were 18,423 people, 7,407 households, and 4,108 families residing in the city. The population density was 2,486.2 inhabitants per square mile. There were 8,259 housing units at an average density of 1,114.6 per square mile. The racial makeup of the city was 91.9% white, 4.7% African American, 0.3% Native American, 0.7% Asian, 0.7% from other races and 1.7% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.9% of the population. There were 7,407 households of which 26.6% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 36.8% were married couples living together, 14.1% had a female householder with no husband present, 4.5% had a male householder with no wife present, and 44.5% were non-families 36.0% of all households were made up of individuals and 14.1% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.19 and the average family size was 2.83. The median age in the city was 33 years 19.2% of residents were under the age of 18. 20.8% were between the ages of 18 and 24. 21.4% were from 25 to 44. 23.6% were from 45 to 64. And 15% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 50.3% male and 49.7% female. Equals 2000 census equals, as of the census of 2000, there were 18,701 people, 7,614 households, and 4,332 families residing in the city. The population density was 2,620.3 people per square mile. There were 8,574 housing units at an average density of 1,201.4 per square mile. The racial makeup of the city was 94.34% white. 3.28% African American, 0.25% Native American, 0.72% Asian, 0.06% Pacific Islander, 0.48% from other races, and 0.88% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.02% of the population. There were 7,614 households out of which 26.3% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 40.8% were married couples living together, 12.4% had a female householder with no husband present, and 43.1% were non-families 35.8% of all households were made up of individuals and 14.9% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.20 and the average family size was 2.85. In the city the population was spread out with 20.0% under the age of 18, 20.5% from 18 to 24, 24.0% from 25 to 44, 20.3% from 45 to 64 and 15.1% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 33 years. For every 100 females there were 98.6 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 97.3 males. 
the median income for a household in the city was $26,289, and the median income for a family was $35,424. Males had a median income of $27,029 versus $20,254 for females. The per capita income for the city was $14,993. About 15.0% of families and 20.7% of the population were below the poverty line, including 25.9% of those under age 18 and 12.7% of those age 65 or over. Government the city government consists of a seven-member city council, five of whom are elected from districts the other two are elected at large. The mayor is elected in a citywide vote. Time zone controversy, on November 4, 2007, Knox County joined Davies, Martin, Pike, and Dubois counties in returning to Eastern Daylight Time. Controversy concerning time in Indiana has caused a change in the time zone of Vincennes on three different occasions since the Standard Time Act of 1918. Legacy The Revolutionary War battle at Vincennes was featured in the 1901 novel Alice of Old Vincennes by Morris Thompson. Also, the cruiser USS Vincennes was later named in honor of this battle. As well as for the city. Notable people, Clint Barnes, baseball player. San Diego Padres, David Carter, retired football player, center and guard Houston Oilers, Albert K. Dawson, photographer, film correspondent in World War I Henry Dodge, U.S. Senator from Wisconsin, Mike Eskew, former chairman and CEO of UPS, James Freeman Gilbert, geophysicist, David Goodnow, television news broadcaster, William Henry Harrison, Indiana Territorial Governor and 9th U.S. President Charles T. Hind, businessman and riverboat captain. Briefly lived in Vincennes, John Rice Jones, politician and jurist, Stanislaus P. Lalumier, President of Marquette University, Al V. Moore, actor, Bill Olson, Athletic Director, University of Louisville, Curtis Painter football player, quarterback Purdue University and Baltimore Ravens, Ollie Pickering. First batter in MLB American League history. Lived and died in Vincennes, Red Skelton, comedian and film actor, Richard L. Stevens, Brigadier General, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Dan Streisinski, football player, punter Indiana University, Sarah Knox Taylor, daughter of Zachary Taylor and first wife of Jefferson Davis, Walla Taylor, lawyer, Adjutant General, United States Senator from Indiana, Alice Terry, Actress, Jan Fields, President of McDonald's USA, LLC. Local attractions, George Rogers Clark National Historical Park The memorial and park built for the war hero George Rogers Clark. St. Francis Xavier Cathedral and Library, the oldest Catholic church in the state of Indiana and Indiana's oldest library. Grand Rapids Dam, was once a dam on the Wabash River near present-day Vincennes. The remains of the dam are still visible. Grouseland, the mansion home of William Henry Harrison, 9th United States President. Fort Knox II, outline of the fort is marked for self-guided tours. Fort Sackville, one of the forts of Vincennes. The U.S. Navy has named four ships in honor of Vincennes. The Servant of God, Bishop Simon Bruter Copyright de Rimer, first Catholic bishop of the Diocese of Vincennes. The Indiana Territorial Capital, the Indiana Military Museum, Pantheon Theater. Media. Equals television equals, WVU TPBS a Euro 22.1 slash 22.2 slash 22.3 a Euro Vincennes University, Hometown News a Euro Independent Media Channel 21 and Vincennes. Equals radio equals, 91.1 Fathoms WVUB Blazer 91-1 a Euro Vincennes University. 92.1 Fathoms WZDM Wisdom 92-1 a Euro The Original Company, 96.7 Fathoms WFML a Euro, 1450 AM WAOV a Euro The Original Company. Equals Newspaper Equals, Vincent's Sun Commercial. List of Vincent's Firsts, Site of the First Catholic Church in Indiana. Home of the First Newspaper in Indiana. Site of the First Presbyterian Church in Indiana. Site of the first Masonic Lodge in Indiana. Home of the first bank in Indiana.
host to the First Medical Society in Indiana. First Bishop of Vincennes, Simon Bruter Copyright. First County Hospital in Indiana. First Post Office in Indiana. First Sheriff's Department in Indiana. First College Vincennes University, founded as Jefferson Academy in 1801. It is the oldest university in the Northwest Territory. Equals state championships equals Vincent's High School or Vincent's Lincoln High School, 1923 and 1981 state basketball champions. 2002 IHSAA Class 3A state baseball champions. Rivet High School, 2011 IHSAA Class 1A state girls basketball champions. Notes. See also. Indiana Territory, Grand Rapids Dam, Grand Rapids Hotel, Piancashaw Indians. References, Allison, Harold. The Tragic Saga of the Indiana Indians. Turner Publishing Company, Padikar. ISBN 0-938021-07-9. Barnhart, John D. Riker, Dorothy L. Indiana to 1816. The Colonial Period. Indiana Historical Society. ISBN 0-87195-109-6. Derlith, August. Vincennes, Portal to the West Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey, Prentice Hall, Inc. LCCN 68020537. Vincennes. Encyclopædia Britannica. Encyclopædia Britannica Online. Encyclopædia Britannica, 2011. Retrieved May 2, 2011. Nolan, John Matthew 2543 Days, A History of the Hotel at Grand Rapids Dam on the Wabash River. ISBN 978-1-257-04152-7. External links, Vincennes, Knox County Convention and Visitors Bureau. Indiana, City of Vincennes, Indiana, Vincennes University, Vincennes Brief History, Vincennes School Corporation, George Rogers Clark National Park, Indiana Territorial Capital, Revolutionary War Archives A Euro Battle of Vincennes.